Ooh, this one's a wiggler. That's why they're calling the red wiggler. <laughs> What's up, my friend? Welcome to my new video series where we go out and find some inspiration and head back into my studio where I bring to life my cute but quirky magical creatures. While we're at it, we'll learn some things along the way. It's spring, and that means working in the garden and digging around in the dirt. This got me inspired to turn a familiar invertebrate into one of my sculptures, the earthworm. But first, let's take a look at this humble, yet hugely impactful creature. Now many of us, especially gardeners and farmers, know that earthworms can benefit the health of soil. Did you know most earthworms in North America are an invasive species? On this continent, almost all native earthworms were wiped out by the most recent ice age and weren't reintroduced back into the ecosystem until European settlers arrived in the 1600s and brought them over. Scientists have found that for the same reasons earthworms are helpful in the garden are actually ways in which they can be harmful to forests. Earthworms eat things really fast and while they can take this dead stuff and turn it into a bunch of nutrients that help some plants thrive, Native plants and animals, such as those found in old growth forests, prefer organic matter found on the ground to break down more slowly for their nutrient and habitat needs. Their quick eating and burrowing also disrupts the mutually beneficial relationships found underground between fungi and plants that forests depend hey. on. So basically the gardens are saying, hey. and the forests are saying, Hello. and the worms are just all like, Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. So that was just some of the interesting information I learned about earthworms when I did a little research about their role in the ecosystem. If you found this interesting, I really encourage you to go take a deeper dive and learn more about them on your own. But now, it's time to get to work. Lately, I've been using primarily cosplay for my sculpts. I start all of my creatures with a wire armature, and I have kind of a quirky idea for a base for this one, so I bulked out the bottom with some foil and tape around the wire. Then it was time to start adding clay and building out the sculpture. It took me a few tries to figure out how I wanted to orient the worm on the base, so I tried a couple of things and was not happy with what I was getting, so I decided to cut down the wire and all in all make the worm less tall off the base. After adding some wormy texture and some of the starting facial details, it was time to add the clitellum. This is actually an organ on the earthworm's body that makes a cocoon that later will enclose its eggs. Once I finished the worm body details, it was time to work on the face. I make all of my own eyes, and for this little guy, I decided to go with green to complement the pinkish orange color of the rest of the body. After we clay, then we paint. I use acrylics, so we have to add lots of layers to get that nice, vibrant color. Another fun fact is that earthworms are officially ready to mate when their clitellum turns orange. Speaking of mating, did I mention that I had a baby four months ago? Well, I'm a work from home mom now, and here's my little studio assistant. Working hard or hardly working, I can't tell. Anyway, back to painting, and now it's time for... Satisfying eye peels. For the base texture, I'm using glue and coffee grounds. I think this makes a nice and realistic looking faux soil. Did you know worms actually don't have lungs and breathe through oxygen passing through their skin? For that to work properly, they have to stay nice and moist. <laughs> moist. I'm using a glossy finish to give my guy here that slimy look. And that's it. One happy, moist, and ready to get busy enchanted earthworm. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know how you think it turned out and if you learned any fun facts along the way in the comments below. How am I gonna focus on what I have to say while these little guys are sliming around and wiggling in my Ah, oh, there's five of them in my hand. It's spring. And we're working in the garden, it's spring. My husband's digging worms for me, cause it's spring, it's spring, it's spring. Okay. <laughs> It's spring, and that means working. Oh God, it's it's going between my fingers. Oh, that is a pile of worms. <coughs> Go out and find some inspiration. Bo. Come on, Bo. Lay down. Ow, mother. Ow, fucking knees. Get over this. Okay, I think we're good.